Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and this is episode number 637, continuing on with recipients from the American Civil War. I do have two birthdays to go over today, and they were actually yesterday, July 29th. The first up is Mr. Jay Vargas, who was born on the 29th of July, 1938, and he is a former U.S. Marine Corps colonel that earned the Medal of Honor for his actions during the Vietnam War. He turned 85 years old, so a very happy 85th birthday to Mr. Vargas yesterday. I did just cover his story back on episode number 630, so I'll have a link in the show notes for you to go check that out if you missed it. Next up, I do have Mr. Leroy Petri, who was born on the 29th of July as well, but in 1979. So he turned the age of 44 yesterday. He is a former U.S. Army Master Sergeant that earned the Medal of Honor for his actions during the war in Afghanistan. So a very happy 44th birthday to Mr. Petri yesterday. I also covered his story back on episode number 37. So way back. Uh, I do have a link in the show notes for that story as well in case you missed it or just want a refresher. I have nothing else to go over, so let's get on with today's Tale of Honor. George was born on the 13th of October, 1839, in Lake County, Ohio, and he was 21 years old when he enlisted in the 15th Indiana Infantry Regiment in June of 1861. It was his actions as a sergeant on the 25th of November, 1863, during the Battle of Missionary Ridge that would later earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads... As color bearer, led his regiment in the assault, and, though wounded, carried the flag forward to the enemy's works, where he was again wounded. In a brigade of eight regiments, this flag was the first planted on the parapet. George married Olive Chandler in 1864, and the couple had three children. He received the Medal of Honor on the 28th of September, 1897, and after his wife died in 1902, he remarried to Helen Clarkson. George Lovell Banks died on the 20th of August, 1924, at the age of 84, in his home in Independence, Kansas. He is buried with his first wife in the Mount Hope Cemetery in Independence, Kansas, Section F, 158-1. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Florus Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.